Hi, this is Russell Sunard from teachertrainingvideos.com. If you're teaching online or teaching in a hybrid context or in a blended learning context, you might find this video really useful. I'm gonna show you a lovely way of giving feedback to your students when working in any sort of online context. Now this idea has actually generated quite a lot of publicity and there's been a lot of research about it. It's very popular now in universities, but not so popular in schools and colleges, etc. So I'm gonna start by a demo. I'm gonna take you through the technology that I use to do the feedback. It's a free tool as well. I really hope you like the video and if you do, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. If you sign up to the newsletter at the moment, then you'll get a free course, which basically goes through the key technologies for blended online and hybrid teaching. And of course, you can join me on my YouTube channel. One final thing, don't forget, I have set the different markers of the videos below if you want to click and jump to a certain part of the video. Let's get started. Now I wanna make this a really clear example. Let's imagine that your student has sent you some written work. Now this could be anything. I'm showing you an example in language, but this could be a history essay, this could be a dissertation, this could be a PhD. It could be from really low level to very high level. I use this idea in many different ways. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give feedback to this student. And the way that I'm gonna do that is that I'm gonna access a technology here called Screencast-O-Matic. And all I need to do, because it's a free tool, is to click on record for free. It's gonna open a little technology. I just need to click on this button here. I just click here to actually open up that technology and now the recorder opens onto the screen. And what I can do now is I can record the screen of my own computer. There it is, there's the recorder. So I'm just gonna minimize the background now because I don't need the website anymore. And I'm gonna bring this recorder over onto the screen. I don't need to make it full screen. Just gonna do it that size. And now I'm gonna record myself giving feedback to this student. So I click on this button here. Okay, Maria, I just wanna give you some feedback. Uh, I have one brother and two sisters. My parents also live, not lives. Remember, this is for third person singular. My parents also live, third person plural. My dad is retired, so we need a participle here, and my mum is also retired. In my free time, I like to play tennis. No the, just play tennis. I also like to spend weekends with my parents, and we normally say by the sea or at the sea. Okay, well done, try to make those changes. So I'm gonna stop that now, so I click on done, and that video is immediately ready for me to send to Maria. Let me just play it back to you. Okay, Maria, I just wanna give you some feedback. Uh, I have one brother and two sisters. My parents also live, not... So you can see I've got the recording and all I'm gonna do now, I've got a few options. I could put it onto YouTube and I often do that. I upload the video onto YouTube and then I set it as unlisted and then I simply send the link to the student. But another way is for me to simply, if the video is short enough, is for me to click on save as and simply to save that video onto my computer screen. And all I'm gonna do here is just uh, decide where. So the file type is MP4, file name, I'm just gonna give it a name. So I'm gonna call it Maria Feedback. And then all I need to do is decide where I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it on my desktop. I click on publish. And that video is now ready to send to Maria. Now, as I've said, I've used this idea with very low level students in language classes, but mainly working at university level. It would be a great idea uh, in secondary education particularly, and it doesn't have to be languages. I'm gonna show you in a moment another example, but let's just quickly look at that video uh, on my desktop. So on my desktop, and there is the video, and I can just click on it and... Okay, Maria, I just wanna give you some feedback. That simple to do that and to create the feedback. Now I'm gonna show you a couple of other really clever ideas. 
Now I'm going to show you another example. This is a much higher level. The student sent me the work and I've already read it and I'm simply giving them feedback. So this is the video that I sent to the student. This is actually authentic. It's from some work I was doing while working at Warwick University. So I'm just going to play the video just for a few seconds and think about the amount of feedback I'm able to give the student in a very short space of time. Exactly what... Uh, screen capture does. And I think it's very important that we explain that if you highlight anything, if you write anything, if you move your cursor on the screen, on the student's written work, then that comes out in the essay because I don't think you're making that point very clearly here. So I think you might need to rethink that point. Another little point I just want to bring up is here. You use the word live. Now, I think live is not really the... So you can see that you can provide so much information to a student and it can be either a really low level or a very high level. This was actually from a master's degree program. Now in this example, I'm giving students feedback on their vocabulary. So we've done a lesson and there's been some problems with the vocabulary. So all I've done is written out a list of words and recorded myself going over the vocabulary problem. So this is one video that I'm sending to the whole group. Now we could do this for vocabulary, but this could be for anything. Perhaps you've watched your students do a presentation and you want to give some general feedback on their presentation and just make one video for the whole class. So let me just play a little bit of this. Problems with today's um, uh, lesson and some of the pronunciation problems. First one I want to point out is just the first word, uh, accommodation, accommodation. The stress is actually on the fourth syllable. And when you spell that word, watch out because it's double C, double M, accommodation. Next word, corruption, corruption. The stress is on the second syllable, corruption. The next word is interesting because we have the word um, photograph. Okay, so you can see again that you can do it. So keep in mind, this idea is really flexible. You simply turn on the screen recorder and record yourself talking over anything that you want to give feedback to students on. It could be on written work, it could be on their art, it could be on their blog, it could be a summary feedback like the examples that I'm giving here. What you can see on the screen now are some of the early papers that were written about this idea. There's been lots of research around it. And what you can now see are the very first two articles that I wrote uh, back in 2006, one that was actually published in the newspaper, and then the uh, very first article I ever wrote about this particular idea in the modern English teacher. And it has really grown, particularly at university level, and it's now seeping into secondary schools as well. So all you need to do is to click on this button here. You don't even have to sign up. Now, I actually have an account. but If you click on record for free and then click on the launcher now sometimes the first time you do need to let download something but in my case now because i've already downloaded the recorder you can see it on the screen now all i need to do is minimize the actual web page so that i've just got the recorder open so i'm just going to simply record my desktop and i can just choose the size so whether i want to record over a powerpoint slide or over a picture or over a word document or over a table it doesn't matter you can just simply record anything that's behind this area of the screen make sure you've got your microphone connected and then click on the record button testing testing one two three testing one two three you can pause Okay, and then you can come back again and continue. Testing, what well, countering? Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. And once I've finished, I click on done. And actually, if I click here, that video is now immediately ready. And I can even play it back and check. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. You can pause. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay, so you can see how easy it is to do. And then, as I've said, you've got various options. You can connect your recording to your YouTube channel. 
or you can do what I do, which is often save the videos. I, I do both. Sometimes if the feedback's long, then I will send it to the students uh, as a YouTube video or even upload it onto my Google Drive account. Uh, if it's a shorter video, then I will often save it as a video and I might upload it onto Moodle or Edmodo or Blackboard. All of those options are available to you. I hope that video was useful to you. Please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Don't forget, if you sign up to the newsletter at the moment, you get a free video course on using technology in teaching and learning, and you get sent a new video every two days. And you can also, of course, sign up to my newsletter and follow me on YouTube. And if you do want to contact me, you can contact me from the website, doing lots of training at the moment with universities and groups of teachers, uh, language teachers, etc., particularly in things like Zoom and Moodle and Ed model and uh, you can contact me from the website and thank you very much